Abraham died. We all do. He was 175 years, years old. For a hundred years, Abraham followed the Lord. He was 75 when he responded to the Lord in faith, began his great adventure. Now, back up. Because he was a descendant from Sham, the or Melchizedek, the high priest of God, that Sham taught him about worshiping the Lord, eighth generations down, Abraham probably knew the Lord and followed the Lord before the great call of God that defined his life when he was 75. All his life, he had followed the Lord because of his ancestry. Because that's why it's so important for you as a family to live as a family of faith. Let me read for you. Abraham lived for 175 years, and he died at a ripe old age, having lived a long and satisfying life. He breathed his last and joined his ancestors in death. His sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Machpelah near Merom, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite. This was the field Abraham purchased from the Hittites and where he had buried his wife Sarah. After Abram's death, God blessed his son Isaac, who settled near Ber Laharoi in, Neb in Nebia. So Isaac settles back at the, at the well where God sees. Now, I want you to take some time and think about this. Think about the adventure of faith that Abraham had, about the call of God in Ur of the Chaldees, about leaving from his home and going all the way up into the upper parts of Mesopotamia and living in, in Haran and then following down through Canaan, going from here to there and the uh, struggle of infertility, the sacrificing of Isaac, the drama with Hagar, the, the, the mess in, with Lot and the mess with Egypt and the mess with Abimelech and the wells he dug and the life he led and all of this, this is great adventure. You know, our lives are not measured by our adventure. Our lives are measured by our God of our adventure. And Abraham, the father of a great nation, a spiritual father to us, lived a life all for God. And I think that gives us hope to know that the twisted turns and challenges of our life are met in the holy hands of a great God. And we can trust him. So hold on to that during this week. And as we continue starting this next Sunday with the life of Isaac and what God does in him. And then, of course, the dumpster fire, which is Jacob. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you on the weekend.